This is like the old Boy Scout model, right? Make sure you've read the first aid section before you use the pesticide. Make sure you show someone else the product label before you begin to handle the product. My brother, sparring my sister-in-law out there, he never tells her anything. He could be dead three days, on the, if, if he didn't come in for supper, she wouldn't notice, right? She has no idea what he's doing, he doesn't tell her anything, it's terrible, right? You've got to tell somebody what you're doing, so if something goes wrong, they know. Take the label or container with you if you take a cash to the hospital. Now, I wouldn't recommend popping in the ambulance with a jug of Paraquat, but all you really need is a label, and it's folded up, and it's stuck on the side. It's really easy to take that label with you, and really all they need is a PCP Act number anyway. And then lastly, give that label to the emergency personnel, and what they're going to look for first is that PCP Act number. First aid treatment. Again, always protect yourself from injury first. Check to see if the casualty is conscious. Check to see if the casualty is breathing. Okay, this is the old ABC, right? Airway breathing circulation. Stop the exposure to the pesticide. Now, your gut reaction, if you ever came on somebody who's been overcome with pesticides, is you're probably going to jump right to number four, right? You can't. You've got to protect yourself first. You've got to stabilize them second. Then you remove them from the place. Okay? Call the Poison Information Center. When you call the Poison Information Center, they're going to ask for uh, a couple of things. The first thing they're going to know is what is the chemical. I've said it 20 times how you're going to identify it, right? You're going to use a PCP Act number. The second they're going to want to know is how much. And sometimes you just have to guess. I have no idea. Is a 20 liter jug laying empty? I have no idea. But if you can guess, if you can take an estimate, they're going to want to know how much. They're going to want to know the route of entry. They're going to want to know did you breathe it? Did you swallow it? Did it go on your skin and soak in? Did it do all three? Okay? And the last thing they're going to know is timing. Because again, whether it happened five minutes ago, five hours ago, or five seconds ago, the treatment could be completely different. Okay, so make sure you know those four basic facts when you call. If you don't know all four basic facts, don't, you know, don't be Colombo and try and figure it out. <laughs> Get on the phone and try and figure out while you're on the phone. And then, of course, start the first aid treatment that you've already read and knew what it was. This is not the time to be trying to read the label to figure out what the first aid treatment is. And then lastly, again, I've said this a bunch of times, Make sure you get medical attention because just because you feel okay now doesn't mean you're going to feel okay later. Make sure you get medical attention. Now, on page 133, it goes into more detail of what to do if a pesticide contacts the skin specifically. Okay?